with Top G in her name, I, I thought for sure we'd have a little bit more animosity, some aggression, something. But here we are just aggressively looting. And that's it. Look at look at the lobby count. Quarter of the lobby's already dead. And here we are still looting. And the problem with him just taking so damn long is the fact that I know this dude's accuracy is about to be completely and utterly dog. Uh, here we are making our way to the loadout. It looks like there's multiple here. We have a vehicle also. There is Nicki Minaj out in the open. Love this. All right, so as Top G is going across again, we need to start looking for different signs of another player being there first off. The four-wheeler is a dead giveaway, but also the idea of another player being there is not far-fetched because there's another loadout drop there. There might be more than one, um, but I definitely see another one. So the moment he spots Nicki Minaj's fat personality, we had several different options we could have done. The first simplest one being is just simply stun the enemy, allowing us to break away the loadie, giving us enough time to use the loadout as nice cover, but also get our loadout. It's a pretty risky option because he might be able to shoot you through it, but there's another option as well. We could either A, throw the Simtex as we're making our way to the first piece of cover, which would be the tree. Not the best cover in the world, but better than what he did, which was... Right, so those two options there are how you take the fight initially different, which is crucial. Whenever you're taking a fight, you don't want to do the dumbest thing possible. You want to try to be a little smart in the fight. Secondly, let's talk about his aim. He doesn't see the enemy. This is something a lot of you guys are guilty of. I was once as well, is when you see the enemy, you're just praying to God it locks on. You get that aim assist and you're able to kill the enemy. And sometimes it will work, but you don't want to rely on that. Allow that to be a, a nice cushion if you need it, but you don't want to rely on it like this man here is. And then as he crawls the tree, he's got the right idea. The problem is this is where you stand up and then you re-peek at a different angle. All he does is slowly crawl out. And as we're still doing the animation of this, the enemy at this point is able to adjust his crosshair down to our level and get some shots off on us. And that's all there is to it. Again, movement's not the craziest in this game, but it does exist. And what you wanna do is stop prone crawling out from behind cover because the enemy will first see your elbow, then your shoulder, then your face. And by the time you're finally lined up, you're already dead. Not too surprised by Top G doing that. To be fair, his gameplay throughout this entire beginning was absolutely atrocious, and now this man here not doing much better. Wait, is he gonna prone crawl the whole way there? No. With a, he's putting a camera on it. This man's about that life. Uh, we have a red ping pop up on the mini map by the buy station, yet here we are running inward. So. So real quick, we have a UAV this whole time and he's not doing anything. He's not marking where the enemy's at. There's an enemy clearly here. He might see another enemy that we can't see, but the reason why I wanna focus on this guy over here is because the buy station. We have $9,700. If we're next to a buy station, of course I wanna buy another UAV. He's got a plate carrier. He's got a durable gas mask. He's got ammo. He's got things he needs. UAV at all times, especially in solos. Play passive or aggressive, I don't give a shit. I'd like to get one. If you're far away from a buy station, then I forgive you, but he's right next to it. So why not utilize the UAV you have to make your way to the buy station using that UAV instead of prone crawling and wasting the entire UAV? I said UAV a lot, but I just need to shove it down everyone's throats because people for some reason don't like UAVs. All right, here we are now crouch walking in the open. Not a huge fan of this. Again, we have the enemy that was marked by the buy station, not to mention there could be ghosted players there as well. Any buy that's on the edge, always be aware. Secondly, we have no cover, no concealment at all, and we're sitting here with a ping as if we know there's an enemy here, and there might be. But if there is, why are we crouch walking in the middle of the open? Vulnerable. This is not a good play at all. Enemy pops up on the ledge. We don't even see him. And now we're on the way. So at this point, we need to anticipate what the enemy might do. And he might not do it, but what I'm thinking is going to happen is the enemy is going to utilize the high ground, come over here, and shoot us in the back. What I would want to do is go the way the enemy probably doesn't anticipate me going, which is right back towards him. I love the prone, like. Okay, so the enemy did anticipate it. It was an easy read. Again, being prone, prone crawling while running. Luckily, the enemy's reaction time was not that good. By the time he saw us, he should have been able to kill us. So the enemy read it how I thought he was gonna read it, and he made his way over here using the high ground, right? But at this point, he should have already been like, oh shit, there he is, locking in and shooting. Unfortunately, 
he's clueless until he gets hit by the stun, and at that point, it's too late. Decent use of a stun, but honestly, I still think he should have died in that, in that fight there. He got real lucky that the player that he just killed was a bot. So lesson to take from that, guys. One, stop prone crawling. Two, you want to try to read the enemies. So we made a lot of noise, right? There could probably be enemies over here. There probably will be enemies. Again, I'm worried about the buy station as well, but we're on the edge. We already know people on the edge like to camp, gatekeep, whatever the situation is. This is where you find the majority of players. And we have no momentum. And it's, and it's fine not to just be running at enemies, but remember, after we get everything we need, the kill, you want to go ahead and instantly pick up the plate box, the plates, make your way to cover, like a building or something, and then regain. I just don't like where we're at now because if enemy pushes our left-hand side or our right, they have the high ground. And again, we can end up back in that same spot of when we were prone shooting at the guy that we stunned. And here is an enemy taking advantage of the high ground. Now, look at this. I don't know where the enemy's at, to be fair. It looked like he shot us from here, but he could be rotating. And that's what he thinks as well. We have nothing. Once again, no cover, no concealment. I would want to be hugging this rock. No doubt about it. Because if the enemy does peek up here, at least I can use the rock as a heady. If the enemy closes the gap and pushes us, at least we can both use the rock as the heady. We get challenged right here. We're going to get slayed out. Again. Oh. All right, again, let's, let's look at that. Disappears, right? It's beautiful cover. Great cover. Great concealment. Love it. What do we have? Not shit. So he pops back up like a gopher, utilizes the heading, gets some shots on, on us, and we can't even see him. This is why it's so important to be using cover and concealment and also using headies right here. All we see is this. Most players can't see an enemy running out in the open, much less just the tip of a helmet peeking out. He can see our whole body. All we can see is this. So again, taking what we took from the last guys, when you make a lot of noise, you need to clear around you. Let's see what this man ends up doing. He sees homie landing on his loadout. I'm gonna be nice. You know, at least he's shooting at enemies. At least he's shooting at enemies. But look, his tracking on this fight was extremely slow. He needs to either speed up his sensitivity. Or get a little bit more aggressive with the stick. He might be feathering it too much. Or again, his sensitivity is just super strict. To where he can't track faster than that. Also, guys, if you're worried about MW3 coming up and you're having trouble with the controller and mastering all the movement, check out aim controllers today. With the new movement coming out, you're going to want to have the ability to be able to slide cancel, jump, all those things while you're moving and not having to take your finger off the joystick. It's crucial. A lot of people can't go claw and I get that. Paddles made my life easier. So make sure you guys check out AIM controllers today. The link will be in the description below as well as a pinned comment and utilize code SAVAGE for $55 off through the rest of the month of October, which is only, uh, well, two more days. But again, also, there's not really much worry with any of these players that we're seeing with their surroundings. Again, I'm still worried about that buy station. That's going to be a hot spot, I would imagine. And this man just went out there in the middle of nowhere to collect souls and all that cool shit. Didn't even look once look that direction to see if someone was pushing him. Remember, just because you don't die doesn't mean you played the fight right. And sometimes when you get the win also doesn't mean you play the fight right. Getting more consistent as a player. That's how you know you're actually improving. That's how you're doing the right things. What are we doing? What the fuck was that? This man was praying to almighty plate God. Good observation. Why are we leaving? So he thought he saw a player and he did see a player. It was really good observation. Most players don't spot shit like this. And he even, he even realizes it follows back up and then starts tracking. You see, even see him peek right at the very end when he puts his gun away. You'll see him peek this rock. So what we could do in this situation is grab this ladder. I mean, there's no reason to run away. We had the high ground. We had the vantage point. You see this ladder right here? It's a beautiful ladder. You climb up, get on the top floor, wave your wiener in the air. It's sick. And then you shoot this guy down in a blaze of glory. This is a very easy kill that I'd want to get out the way. Not really sure why he smoked himself away from the fight. If we're out in the open, maybe fine, but not a huge fan of it. Just instantly threw in the towel and said, never mind, I'm out. And again, an easy kill like that could come back to haunt you if you decide you don't want to take the fight. 
I don't want you guys out here picking stupid fights for no reason at all, but a fight like that where you literally have all the leverage in the world, there's no reason to not. And he looks like he's trying to get himself back towards the enemy. But again, look at the elevation of the building he just left. My eyes is probably the best one for, for that situation there, at least. You still see him peeking that ridge. He doesn't see him, actually. So the observation, I don't know, man. Maybe his eyes were having to look at the right spot. His aim actually turned not, not too bad. His aim's actually, that, that one wasn't too bad at all. But the biggest thing of this is not the fact that we're not getting this kill. The biggest thing of this is I always tell you guys, do not prolong your fights. You want to get these fights taken care of fast. And I'm not like saying just full send and rush them. Situations like this, instead of just killing him and having him done, you can worry about the rest of the map. Now, here we are, tunnel vision on the edge of the map with our entire back exposed, which is all the high ground behind us. And we don't really want to bring attention to ourselves. So not a huge fan of this. You see the enemy rotating on the far left. And Sip, I'm assuming you saw it too. And he's going to go ahead and rotate this direction. Now, again, it's a good play. The problem with this, again, is we've made a lot of noise. So other enemies could be posted up here. They could be ready to third party this fight. All right, so let's look at this fight again. I wanted to wait for him to reload because I wanted to talk about that. But right gun for the right fight. He literally just beamed the guy last fight with the ISO. Why not with the ISO right, out right here? And if you're worried about getting the shots off first, trust me, his weapon at range is probably more powerful than MP5 right now. Secondly, this right here. All we got to do is crouch, kind of move our way down a little bit more, and we can have time to whip out the ISO and get the kill off. Thirdly, there's no reason for the precision to be used. Just crouch back down, whip out your ISO, get back up there, and go hunt this motherfucker down. But instead, we leave the high ground, allowing the enemy to either get away or shoot us in the back. Rely on the precision to get a kill. It's probably not going to get a kill. And also, we start pushing towards the hill without reloading our weapon. So, like, if someone's a peek up right now, we're, we're, we're dead. We're not doing it. We, like, we, there's nothing we can do. And it doesn't seem like a big deal because he ends up figuring it out. But every second matters. And we're real lucky this lobby isn't the craziest to fall. Because, again, all this noise he's making on the edge of the zone with all these buys around us and these hills and high grounds that people usually love to camp. He should be dead at this point. But again, it's the second time with this enemy in particular, he's missed out on a very easy kill. He's doing a decent job of gatekeeping-ish. The problem with this gatekeep is the enemy can go anywhere and we really can't do anything about it. If the enemy does come up this way, this way or this way, yeah, we can kill him. But if he's smart, he's just gonna wide rotate down and just use the low ground to his advantage. So again, two things to take out of this entire sequence of events is one is when your fight's fast, just because you don't want to get third party and also because you want to get the kills so that they don't just get away. And now the third thing too, the third option is the fact that the gas is now pushing in. So we're going to have to play the edge instead of being able to pre-rotate and get to a better spot. Now here we are having to play the edge of the gas because we were so thirsty for a kill that we're not going to get anyway. And we should have gotten five minutes ago. So what's going to happen with SIP-01 is I'm pretty sure he's going to end up getting to the next zone and look where it's going. And he's going to die before he gets there or once he gets there. Because I would imagine enemies would be gate kept. They would be in a position of high ground and building with cover and concealment, gatekeeping anybody coming from this wide ass open area. And the reason why I said I'll be surprised if he even makes it is again, because it's so wide open. What would really be crazy justice is if the enemy actually came back here and killed us. I'm hating on him, but good idea going to the top of the mountain to parachute off. Again, you want to dolphin dive off to get a little bit more elevation, a little bit more speed and make it go further. But at least he got the high ground instead of just running straight out in the open. He's still tunnel vision on this kill he should have got. So it's really just eating at his heart, eating at his mind right now. When again, look at his position. Look at this. Look at this. All this is high ground. This is the worst building to get to. People get finessed because it's a three story. But no, dude, you can be on the street and be higher than this. Not a, not a good spot. We should have instantly made our way to the buy station, instantly put up a UAV to find out what's around here. Instead of sitting here worrying about a kill again, we should have got now seven minutes ago. I'm not mad at the ladder play. Definitely better than breaking windows. Again, UAV would be crucial in this situation. I get you want to clear the building. 
but okay okay he didn't know where the buy was i'll give him some love there didn't know where the buy was decided to market to find it like i like that at this point in the game you shouldn't know where the buys are but people aren't grinders like me you know people have lives that are more important than mine so i get it but like if i you know i'm doing the same thing with bounties most wanted things like that if i'm not sure where it is just pull up the map mark it real quick it's really good reference point all right so we can't see what's on his uav but he clearly sees an enemy i'm assuming to be fair i'm not really sure what he sees i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt but that was wild he just randomly threw a uh, a drill charge for no reason at all ladies and gentlemen that is why you don't play like a bitch right there spotty bacon i'm calling you out brother because you need some love dude if you continue to camp in a corner like a baby back bitch you will continue to get absolutely laid out every time especially when mw3 comes out with movement and higher ttk it's going to affect these types of players even more so if this is you or a teammate send your teammate this video right now because they got to be showing this shit. this is atrocious he saw him on the uav we clearly didn't because again spectating glitch but he did launch the uav and it was able to identify as a player here the whole time whereas before when he was sitting there taking a sweet ass time if that player would have been aggressive he could have got an easy kill all right now we're pushing up he's got a player marked from a uav he launched earlier we hear gunfire too we see gunfire all right solos is riddled with riot shield peasants unfortunately man it is what it is um and if you're a right shielder look don't get your feelings hurt just identify yourself as a peasant and uh now we've actually got two enemies here so there's there were three total one died now there's two i doubt the riot shielder made it up that building that fast unless it's the flash look at this if you're getting shot at from the left you have to have smokes for this kind of shit too bro but if you don't if you don't at least turn and try to shoot the enemy back he didn't even look at us. Dude didn't give a shit. I bet he cares now. EAM Epico. Now, I don't like this fight right here either because as we just saw, one enemy ran in from behind us. We're lucky he didn't shoot at us, but dude was obviously not only blind, but deaf too. This guy right here, it's not a, it's not a good fight because if he has a self-res, he's just gonna self-res because we don't have a good angle on him. Not to mention, he'd probably be stupid enough just to stand there and let you get the easy kill. So these fights right here, I think, are kind of useless in this situation because it's in game, and again, we need to be worried about high ground. And look at the look at the compound behind us. This is going to be, well, it looks like it's actually going back this way, but that's going to be where most of the players are going to be at anyway. Now we saw a guy flying in towards us. I'm not sure why he just completely turned his back around and ran away. We could have backed off and played it to where the guy shooting at us didn't have an angle, but we could have also kept our eyes on that dude that came in but we're going back okay he doesn't know what he wants to do he's like uh maybe uh okay yeah dude i mean bro you saw him sit he was sitting there like a fucking gopher look at him watch look just chilling i know he's probably in his map but i don't know why you would put yourself back up here where he just fucked you up at to come up here stand up and, and pull out your mat like dude the confidence is awesome but no no I like the initial play of running backwards. We should have stuck with this play originally. And honestly, I'd want to get up here to play the high ground. I want to go ahead and see what's behind me before we come up here. Let's see what he does. His UAV clearly picked up something. He went ahead and threw up a ping while he was moving. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Don't stop in the middle of nowhere. Throw up a mini map while you're moving and, and ping that shit. This is personal opinion. I'm going to be honest. This isn't a tactic or strat. This is just personally what I would do. I wouldn't fucking do this. You might be able to get the kill when he jumps off. But again, you're revealing your position for almost no reason at all. I guarantee you, if this guy does get shot at, it's not only going to be by us. Um, plus, again, I'm more worried about what's going to be near us. There's still 14 enemies up. And yeah, Hydra's got a lot of buildings. So there's probably a lot of people. But Zaya is also usually a really popular spot too. So the idea of him being up there alone is i don't i don't believe it to be true so i'm more worried about what's on our right hand side to be fair what's behind my webcam enemies also glinting at us this is all types of shit moments right here that you just don't want to have and again the problem is also us shooting an enemy we probably can't get the kill on 
is we're bringing a lot of attention to ourselves. And look, look at this. Do you think this is going to be favored next zone? It might be, but I don't want to play that game because if we have to rotate, we got no cover to get to this compound, no cover to get down here. Just it's going to be a hard rotate for us. We do have smokes, so it's not again far fetched, but wouldn't be my first option. I also want to throw that out, but forget about the glint. I want to look at the confidence this man just had pushing that enemy. Like I've said, I've been worried about an enemy being at this compound this whole time, and not once does he peek this to look ADS nothing. Don't even care about that shit. If this glint wouldn't have popped up, I guarantee you Sip would have kept autopiloting right towards this, right towards the enemy, no doubt. But the glint had him think about other plans. Now, the questionable thing about this, and it's just the nature of solos, is the fact that there are a lot of people around us. It's a small zone with 10 enemies up, and they're not shooting at us. Why is this guy cracking us, and this guy's not shooting at us too? If you hear gunshots going on around you, and you're safe-ish, like you've got cover like this guy clearly had, look around, you might get some easy-ass kills. So many people are so afraid to fight, and so afraid to like and get involved, because they don't want to die. If you have hard cover, and you see two enemies shooting at each other, shoot at them too! I don't know what he's doing. And we saw where he was. You know what, man? I'm, I get clearing it out, I really do, but you, you already knew where the enemy was. Where do you think he went to? Good job with the enemy pushing us. Got some shots off, closed the gap, and pushed us. Love it. And here we are moving on the chew, and again, there we go. I was gonna say, don't forget about the fight that we heard to our right-hand side. There's clearly another enemy here. What the? So I'll play a game called Don't Be an Idiot. Are we, all, are we all in agreement on that one? The enemy is downed. He's downed. So if you, if this guy goes to execute him, he will not get the kill. Do we all know that? If the enemy's downed already, you will not get the kill? All right, cool. So yeah, he could get up and shoot back, but let's not worry about the guy who's downed right now. Let's worry about the, who downed him. He might be closing the gap. And lo and behold, surprise, there we are. And he can definitely see us on his screen. We're within his FOV, no doubt about it. But he goes to execute nobody for nothing. Look, we got the kill on him. Weird. I don't understand for the life of me why players why players do that. If it's ranked, that's one thing. This ain't ranked though, bitch. This is solos. All right, now on to Chew rocking 14 kills. We've got three enemies left. Enemy players are dying. We don't hear gunshots. A little bit of snaking movement. Kind of. But we have the high ground though. We don't really have to play in this area. This ridge has already been cleared. There's literally nothing over here. We can tell that. A little movement right there. But I want to get to the ridge over here. I want to get this. We've cleared the one close to us. The enemy's out, out in the outskirts for sure, but he's the furthest one out. He's on the very far edge of the zone, so the other two people can kill him. Fuck him, right? We don't, we don't care about that. Clear what's next to you, especially in game. Get your ass over here, man. Clear this ridge, clear all of this. Make sure this guy's not over so he can just pop up and shoot you while you're distracted with the other dude. Chu's got 14 kills. He's definitely not a terrible player. But just, just a little bit questionable things when it comes to positioning. Seems to me like everyone's over there. You hear gunshots to the left too. So we I know both enemies are over there now. So we can we can kind of push up up here and close the gap. All right, he's deciding to play patient. Again, being patient is not a bad idea. Playing passive isn't bad as long as you're just doing it smartly. I wouldn't want to sit right here, I'll tell you that much. There's a nice little loadout in front of us that's some better cover. Let's each their own. I don't know what he's doing to be fair. Remember, like, I don't know why he's peeking this shit. That makes no damn sense anyway. If you were sitting perfectly still behind a bush, the odds of an enemy seeing you are pretty slim. If you're moving though, they're gonna see that. Motion's way easier to see than a static object behind a bush. 